review is of the YF22, or the uh, precursor to the F22, and this is a 120 3rd scale model by uh, Testers. And here are some pictures of the actual plane. And there are the uh, colors needed. Let's see if there are any other pictures. Uh, so here's some detail about the plane. And here is another picture of it. So, uh, it's a very large box. So this is going to be a large model. Let's have a look inside. There are instructions. And some very large sprues. So first of all here we have our wings, and uh, this is very large, we've got some raised panel lines, which is unfortunate, and then some recessed lines, a few of them. Uh, this must be our, uh, our uh, tail. And there's the same for the other side, quite large wings. This must also be the, uh, the other tail. Let's probably go together something like that. So, over here we have our fuselage. All wrapped up. Okay, so here is the top half, also got raised panel lines, a little unfortunate, but some recessed lines there. And here's our cockpit, so it's going to be a large plane. Here is our lower part of the fuselage, with our weapons bay, one of them has been opened. And uh, this is probably for our uh, wheel wells. There's our nose wheel well, not a lot of detail there. Here is our canopy. It's a little unusual and a little different to the final canopy for the F-22. Let's move those out the way. Okay, so these uh, other sprues here, it looks like we have two. This has all of the other parts for this plane. First of all here, these are our wheel wells. Not a huge amount of detail, a little disappointing. Here is the uh, cover for the weapons bay. Uh, looks like some hydraulics for maybe for flaps. There's our instrument panel. We've got our uh, uh, part of the canopy. There's our cockpit. And hopefully we'll have some additional detail for that. We'll have to look and see. But that's really minimal. Here are our exhausts. We've got our wheels. We've got a fair amount of flashing kind of all over. As you can see here, these little edges here. And uh, the air intake areas there. No additional details. Well, maybe a little bit here. Okay. And let's have a look at this one. So these look like our air intakes here. The uh, lower portion of the exhaust. We've got our uh, some weapons here. Other part of the weapons bay. You can see this is what pushes them out. We've got the... Uh, Oh, this must be the, probably, the, this is probably the tail. Actually, you know, with the elevator, we'll have to look and see 
on the instructions. Here we've got our injection seat. Here's the side of the injection seat with the rails. And then we've got some odds and ends here for building up our landing gear. And there's the nose wheel. Here's some pieces that have fallen off. Looks like our weapons bay. And uh, one of the weapons there. So, let's have a look here at our instructions, sorry, our decals. Quite nicely uh, printed, still in good shape. Nice little details. Let's have a look here at our instructions. So, there's some uh, details about the plane. I'm going to start off with the uh, cockpit. And uh, let me put our, uh, these are our tail planes together. We put our front nose, the pitot tube together. Canopy is assembled. Next to our nose gear is assembled. And then our main gear, weapon systems, and uh, front part of the cockpit there. Next we've got our wings being put together. Main gear wheel wells there, and uh, those are sent into the fuselage. Uh, additional details for the cockpit there, and we put together our uh, exhausts. Next, we uh, put the uh, parts all together, including wings, tail, and uh, the uh, fuselage. Don't forget to add a weight there. Uh, next we add weapon systems, air brakes, and uh, the uh, landing gear or wheel well doors. And then putting the main gear. Our engine intakes are then put on. And some additional weapon systems there. Canopies then installed. And next we have our decals and painting guide and uh, here's some pictures of the actual plane and it's a huge amount of detail in that wheel well and then that is it flying so all in all not a huge amount of detail it's a very large model and the decals are reasonably good and it should be a good one to build